All right, so you're the guy or girl out there that has everything or just wants to be different or unique. Well, stop it. Stop it. Don't be yourself, okay? Please. I've seen yourself. Don't be yourself. But if you choose to ignore my advice, then we have the coolest airsoft guns in the world. Ones that have two barrels in them, okay? Because we all know two barrels is better than one. It's an airsoft three-way, and I'm going to show you two of them that you can buy today. The OG, you and two barrels. This ain't two girls and one object. This is you and a cool airsoft gun. This thing came out very innovative. You got one motor, you got two cylinders to shoot two BBs out the front. So is this technically semi-auto if you shoot it in semi-auto? I don't know. You're gonna break every rule kit out there for any other field unless, actually, they're probably just gonna make a special rule for you. Oh, that's that guy we had to make the rule for. But these are really, really, really cool. They have two independent hop-up units. They have one right there and one right there. You have two magazines, so you get double the shots, potentially, if you don't shoot. Well, actually, no, you don't, because it shoots twice the time. You get two magazines, so it looks cool. You get one single rail up top, a large rail on the bottom, and as you see in this picture right here, you can fully customize it and put some tracer units on it so you can have a disco dance party. So, why did they do this, okay? Well, Classic Army just said because. They don't sell a lot of these. These are kind of Gucci, kind of heavy, kind of proprietary when it comes to the gearbox and everything like that. But they decided to be a little bit different. I advised them not to, but they did it. But luckily they didn't take my advice and they made something really, really cool. When you're wielding this out on the field, you're gonna be the talk of the town and people are gonna ask, why didn't I buy that? Let's say an electric gun, you know, that's Gucci is not, you know, fully your style. You know, two M4s together slapped together with a giant rail, just not me. Well then, you can harness your inner doom and be even more different. You can be doom guy and take this BFG. They totally boned, Jag Arms totally boned the uh, name. But what they ended up doing, just like Classic Army did with the M4, is they took two of their Jag scatter guns, mounted it to this cool little piece right here, so they had one and one gas tube. So they slam these things together, and to charge them, they put this giant handguard, M-lock, Magpul looking handguard on the front. Now, with this, you get a little, you get the, all the same things as the Jag scatter gun. You get selectable three or six BBs, and that's per shotgun, right? So three coming out each one, so that's six or six, which means 12's coming out. It has the normal feed system of the independent shells, so you're only gonna get 30 shots per shell, and you get two triggers, so you can actually shoot this with either or the triggers. If you're gonna shoot this, you're gonna have to have big hands if you wanna use just this grip, okay? It's kinda cumbersome. I don't have big hands, but to rack it back and forth, cumbersome. So what we always recommend, if you do buy this, is use this M-lock section here to put a nice grip on the front. Now, they also give you on this a nice top rail and a front sight. But let's be honest, that would only be for aesthetics. You aren't actually gonna aim with this thing. You're just gonna shoot it, okay? They give you two ring points on either side so you can change those up both left to right, right to left. And they give you one on the stock so you can sling this thing 18 different ways to Sunday. Now, when shooting this, you're shooting double the amount of BBs but they only give you one gas tube which is like on their normal shotguns. So with that, you're gonna run a gash really, really quick. So if you're gonna run this, we recommend just HPA tap this. We have JAG scatter gun uh, taps that can go right into this valve, HPA it. You're gonna thank yourself later because you're not gonna get more than about three to four shells per gas fill. And you know, you wanna look cool, right? There's no looking cool if you run out of gas, okay? But the number one thing why you should buy this one though is curb appeal. You put this on the desk, everyone's gonna wanna steal it. And they're gonna wanna notice you. Okay, look at that guy. He's got two shotguns. Why did he spend that money on that shotgun? They're gonna ask a bunch of questions about your sanity. But here's the good thing about, the real good thing about talking about you. And if they're talking about you, they aren't focusing on the field. So you're gonna smack them on the field with this BFG. Now that you've seen kind of non-traditional M4s because three ways are better than one ways that are better than two ways, which ipso facto means two barrels are better than one. We're gonna go out to the field of my alleyway and blow some heads up to see how these actually perform and all the cool tricks that you can do with these two unique airsoft guns. Talk is, someone yawn? Talk is cheap. 
So we're gonna try and shoot these now. We're not gonna try, we are gonna shoot this. The double barrel DT4 by Classic Army. This started the double barrel craze, okay? So let's see how it shoots. Kids are gonna cry, but luckily for us, we don't have kids, we have foam heads. How do I shoot the foam head? Do I shoot it like this? Why not? Let's, let's, we're gonna try it at different angles, okay? So you maximum effective yield sideways. Okay, not very cool, not very cool. Let's shoot this. Yeah, that's more like it. Now the cool thing about this is the dual hop up. So you can make one shoot really far up and one shoot really far down, all cross-eyed like some of you are, or you can just make it shoot like normal. But you didn't hear, you didn't come here to see me talk. You came here to see me shoot full auto because that's what it's all about, full auto. And the great thing, when you're done, you can dual mag flip. Cue the doom music. Do it, do it. All right, so now we've shot the M4. Still unpractical, not very practical. It's got two barrels. Is that considered semi-automatic? Probably still. You're gonna really confuse those rule experts out of your local field. But if you really wanna get all the guys, you know, and they're hot and bothered at the field, and so they're paying attention to you, you need a dual barrel shock. Nothing says, come and see me, come on over baby, like large, bulky, girthy airsoft guns. Oh, pause. So we got our shells right here. We're gonna put them together. Lock and load, baby. All right. First off, you need big hands. Doug Dibidome's got the smallest hands in the world. Not very good. Get yourself a grip, it'll help you out. Is it cool? Yes. Is it practical? No. What should you do with this if you get this? HPA tap it, you're gonna run out of gas really, really soon. Should you buy it? Yes, because it's better than spending that $10 a month on Tinder when you can get all the attention that you need every Saturday or Sunday. For free. Slow is good, but fast is better. Fast also means you run out of BBs faster. So two is better than one, and four is better than two, and four is also better than one. So if you want the coolest, most Gucciest, the weirdest things that no one else has to shoot those annoying geese that ruined my shot, then shop at Mere Tactical and MereTactical.com. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.